Hello guys, welcome back to Droidcrunch and in this video, we are going to see how to create an archive template using dynamic content fundamental plugin dynamic.oo and this will be a dynamic archive template that will be used for any post type and any category that you are having in your website. So you can see that it's my homepage and this is like my performance category and the archive template is used here. You can see archive template and here is the review post type and this is the archive of my review post type and reviews is the slug for my archive of uh, review post type and it is the template assigned to it you can see archive template so we will look into it how i have assigned it to all my archive so let me show you so this is uh, done by using dynamic post v2 which was v2 but now it's dynamic post because uh, the earlier version of dynamic post which was old version of dynamic post has uh, all been degraded and uh, it is under legacy mode so that's why it's now dynamic post perfect so i have used this uh, widget and uh, have made it a grid template i have not used any temp elemental template for this but i have just to use a default item style but I have in my items uh, made it like that because I have given it padding, given it border radius to my image and in title I have styled its typography, made it uh, middle line and then I have some padding for my text. Okay, perfect. And uh, then for my grid, for that I have used block style, border radius, box shadow just to make it like a card kind of design and then i have infinity scroll and i have 10 items and three columns to be appeared and there's no flex scroll so even if there are two it will be aligned like that and they will not come to like 50 percent 50 percent these will still stay in 33 percent to each grid and if you make it like flex grow then you will see like that something so if there's one in the column then it will be uh, you know overlapping the entire column area so that's uh, what I didn't want to have so that's why I have kept it to flex go to none perfect and I have made it match style to yes so it will always match the height and uh, then uh, what matters most to us in this uh, part of tutorial is the query so you may see the default is post type query but for the archive we can use the dynamic query and keep it publish and you can uh, use it or not okay and that's uh, all like if you use dynamic and then you go to display conditions and assign it to all the archives then this template will be shown to your review or possibly your all the post type archives and all your category archives pages and it will override all the default archive pages so this is how you can create archive pages of this kind and this literally looks very amazing if you have like multiple posts if you see uh, i have only one in all and all, all of my archives as of now but if they are having like more of the posts inside of my category then this will literally good look very very nice okay so this way you can create it if you want to know more about how to use dynamic post v2 then you can check out my uh, earlier video about that i will leave a link in the description or you can check out the i button to notice dynamic post v2 tutorial and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss my new videos till then bye bye and have a wonderful day